going to be great having you over for dinner tonight, Liz. And before I forget, it's very important that you not arrive late. I'll be there on time, but why is it so important to not be late? Because it's rude? No, it's just that if you're late, you probably won't get any food. Maybe even if you're on time. I'm going to start cooking any minute now. We're having roast turkey. <gasps> roast turkey? I want a turkey in a raffle. They're supposed to deliver it any minute now. Dibs on the drumsticks and the rest of it, too. I'll be there. I hope Garfield leaves me the neck. <laughs> she says she hopes you leave her the neck. <gasps> the neck's the best part. She can have an ankle. Sounds like my turkey's here. Wonder how it rang the doorbell. John Arbuckle, I'm Mr. Gizzard, your local poultry specialist. I have a turkey for you. Thanks. Hey, this turkey's alive. Uh, Mr. Gizzard, the turkey, it's alive. So? Well, it's just that I can't, uh, I mean, I can't cook it if, oh. That is... You won a live turkey. I delivered a live turkey. If you don't know what to do with him, it's not my problem. Gobble, gobble. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, turkey for dinner. I'm having turkey for dinner. Delicious roast turkey dinner. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Sure, you can have some. You can have the other ankle. Mm. Huh? Hi, guys. We're having lasagna for dinner. Lasagna for dinner. I'm having lasagna for dinner. Delicious baked lasagna. Lasagna? <coughs> huh. Change of menu. If you want roast turkey, it's easy, Garfield. You go put it in the oven. <sighs> well, at least it's fresh. Gobble, gobble. Gobble. Hmm. My dinner seems to be having lunch. Sorry, Garfield. I don't have the heart to end that little turkey's life, and neither do you. I hate it when John's right. Fortunately, it doesn't happen very often. <sighs> Time for my nap. John being right, how about that? <laughs> But he is right. I couldn't end that. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, uh, Mr. Turkey kind, sir. Hi. I hate to disturb you, but uh, I was wondering if you could do one teensy teensy little thing for me. Yeah. Well, I was just kind of hoping perhaps you could... Oh, I see. How could I put this delicately? Get out of my bed! <laughs> a turkey in my bed. Is there anything I like less than a turkey in my bed? <laughs> yeah. huh? Yes! A turkey in my supper dish. Scram! Get away! Evaporate! Well, I think he's learned his lesson. I don't think he'll cause me any more trouble. Huh? This is my favorite show, Garfield. Mine too, except what I really like are the commercials for burritos. <laughs> You know, a hot turkey sandwich would taste really good right about now. I'll just put him outside. If you're gonna sing that loud, fella, you're gonna have to be further away. I'm thinking Peru. <laughs> What just happened? Ouch. <laughs> 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 
Okay, Turkey. You just became a to-go order. Scrawny, scraggly little neck of yours. Gesundheit. <laughs> Don't tell me you're allergic to feathers, too. <laughs> that turkey's going to drive us all crazy. I'm going to catch him and take him back to Mr. Gizzard. Oh, this I gotta see. How hard could it be to catch a turkey? About that hard. I think it's time to leave this to the professionals. I'll be down in the basement. Good job, boy. Fortunately, some of us have a large selection of costumes in our costume trunks. Pirate costume, cowboy suit, cat costume. Why would I ever need this? Ah, turkey costume. <laughs> Apart from a few mashed potatoes and gravy stains, it's perfect. <laughs> Hello, fellow turkey, gobble gobble. Hey, this way, buddy. Gotcha. Don't worry, Garfield. I'll get him back to Mr. Gizzard. Mr. Gizzard, I'd like to return this. Oh! You were very close. Uh, sorry. That's not a turkey. It's a cat in a turkey suit. I'll be right back. I'd like a turkey, please. Do you have one without fur? This time, I have the right turkey. He's cute and all. We just can't keep him around the house. Sure, I'll take him back. Maybe you can find a good home for him. Oh, this ain't a pet store, you know. You... you're not going to... It's what we do here, pal. Hey, wanna let me have him too? <laughs> what I could get for him by the pound. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll just take this one. What are we going to do? I mean, we can't just let him... I'll take care of this or my name isn't Garfield Turkey. Uh, cat. You stay here. I have some knives to sharpen. We're gonna spring you from the joint. Just breathe deep. Gesundheit! <laughs> now then, down to business. <laughs> what are you sneezing about? Are you sick? <laughs> Tell him yes. 
Whoa! This could be turkey pox. He could infect my whole shop. Wait, wait, wait. Take this turkey back. Uh, but you said... You want it, it's yours. Keep it out of my store. Gosh, huh? what do we do now? I had my heart set on having turkey for dinner tonight. And we're gonna have that turkey for dinner tonight. Dad! I've been looking forward to this ever since John said he was having a turkey for dinner. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here's what you've been waiting for. <laughs> my special spinach lasagna. You really think the petting zoo will want him, Liz? Sure. The kids there will love him. And now that we've had the turkey here for dinner, maybe we can take him to a movie. person to invent a remote control for vacuums will be adored and venerated by all of cat kind. I know it's early, Garfield, but Liz's parents are coming over soon and everything needs to be perfect. Oh, I can't greet them like this. What kind of a first impression would that make? Mm. Oh. An honest one? I know Liz's parents will be watching me like a hawk and analyzing my every move. John, I think a walrus threw up on your shirt. <laughs> Odie, well-bred dogs don't beg. You can't... Odie, I just got through mopping that floor. <sighs> I'll deal with it later. Now, where is that expensive caviar I bought? Mm. Ah! Mm. All right, listen to me, you two. <laughs> My future with Liz is at stake. When her parents get here, I expect you both to be on your best behavior. And to make sure that happens, there's a little reward in store for you. Whichever one of you two makes the most effort to make a good impression will get a special treat. <laughs> Odie, go fetch the grooming brush. I'm going to give you two a little makeover before our guests arrive. Oh, no way. I'd rather cough up a giant hairball than share a brush with that mangy flea bag. I'll do my own grooming, thank you. Have it your way, Garfield. But Odie just scored a point in the effort category. Good boy, Odie. Good boy. What a suck up. I think I'll uh, fit in a little beauty sleep before the guests arrive. My suit! Get your filthy paws off me! Oh. Down, boy! I said get down! What in the world is going on out here? I'll tell you what, that maniac dog of yours pounced on us. You should have him on a leash if he can't behave. Odie, bad boy. I am so sorry about that. Please, please, come in. We'll get all of you cleaned up inside. That goes for you too, Odie. Hi, John. Nice shirt. Minus one for Odie. That reward is mine. He doesn't usually jump on guests like that. He, uh, he must have been really excited to meet you. Speaking of which, you haven't been properly introduced. Mom, Dad, this is John. John, these are my parents. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilson, but you can call me Daddy. And I'm Mr. Wilson. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. 
<clears throat> I, uh, I believe you're already well acquainted with my dog, Odie. <laughs> and that's Garfield, my cat. My, that's a fat cat. Liz, dear, you really should put that cat on a diet. Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, too. You've got a nice place here, John, but I must say, this house needs a woman's touch. I don't know about the house, but John certainly does. That being said, an extra hand in the kitchen wouldn't hurt. So, John, Liz tells us you're a cartoonist. That's right. I, uh... Personally, I've always been for solid, respectable careers. None of that fancy schmancy stuff. I'm a tax auditor myself. That would have been my second guess after Undertaker. Bad boy, Odie! <laughs> He's usually very well behaved. Minus two for Odie. Reward, come to Papa. Raising pets is like raising children. It requires a great deal of discipline. Do you plan on having children one day, John? Dad! Speaking of children, I haven't introduced you to my son yet, John. Your son? Uh, Liz didn't mention she had a brother. John, this is Petey, my pride and joy. <laughs> I raised and nurtured him ever since he was a baby. I can trust your pets with him, can't I? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> because if any harm came to him, I, I, I just don't know what I'd do. But it breaks my heart to keep him cooped up in a cage. So she coops us up instead. She spends her time closing windows. And you spend it opening them. He's always saying it's stuffy. <laughs> Isn't he the smartest, cutest little thing? <laughs> he's the son I never had. I would have said plump and juicy, and he's going to be the hors d'oeuvres I'm going to have. Snack time. Go ahead. Be my guest. Try it. See what happens. It'll be the most fun I've had in ages. Trust me. Hey, I went through a lot of trouble chasing you, so humor me. Fight, struggle, beg, plead. Oh, please, Mr. Cat, don't eat me. There is that exciting enough for you? Oh, uh, you're going to have to do better than that. Garfield? <laughs> I'm warning you, Garfield. If I catch you with that bird again, you can forget the reward. And no TV for a no, month. Stop! I wouldn't gloat if I were you. I may be minus one, but you're minus two. Ah, forget that insipid sack of feathers. It's like trying to get an adrenaline rush from a slice of plain white bread. Animate pre-slice cold cuts are a hundred times more exciting. Please, please, ah! please, Mr. Cat, eat me. Come on. I know you want to. Just do it, please. Hey, you're supposed to beg me not to eat you, Dodo. But I must admit, you're slightly more tempting in sandwich form. What's taking so long? Hurry up! Well, if you insist. <laughs> Petey? Oh, look! We're all out of hors d'oeuvres. Why don't I go into the kitchen and get us some more, huh? Oh, I see you've made yourself a nice... <laughs> Canary sandwich! I'll give you one last warning, Garfield. If anything happens to that bird, I'll put you on a diet of bread and water for life! Oh. <sighs> I need to get as far away as possible from that psycho bird. Petey. Petey, where are you? Come to Mama. It's not like him. He never leaves my side for long. Don't worry, Mom. He couldn't have gone far. Yeah. It's not like this house is a mansion. Uh, maybe he went upstairs. We can go have a look if you want. Oh. Ah, perfect. That should keep me out of trouble until the guests leave. I do that? 
Uh, I'll be right back. Stay where you are. Don't come any closer. Listen, it's a cruel, cold world out there, full of mean, hungry cats, not pushovers like me. I'll take my chances. You have to fend for yourself. And, and, and when you're sick, no one will make chicken soup for you. Birds don't eat chicken soup. Ah, oh, right, okay. Well, what about Betty? She'll be devastated. She raised and nurtured you. Smothered me, you mean? I've been wanting to break free from day one. And thanks to you, I finally did. I'm free as a bird. Farewell, Garfield. No, no, no! Maybe it's for the best, Mom. How many times have you brought him into the clinic because he banged into a closet window, huh? He'll be happier out there. I'll be honest with you, Arbuckle. I didn't like you the minute I saw you, after what your cat just did. I know, it's unforgivable. It's, it's, it's a miracle! A darn bird was the bane of my existence! Heck, I've been trying to get rid of him for ages. And thanks to that cat of yours, he's gone for good. From now on, John, you're part of the family. Wow, I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you, Mr... Uh... Bob? Mr. Wilson. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Garfield? I might as well get it over with. It's time to face my fate with dignity. Bag. Oh, merciful, merciful John. Take pity on me. Oh, please. Garfield, where have you been all afternoon? Your reward is getting cold. My reward? Ta-da! <gasps> you earned it, Garfield. Thanks to you, I'm on Mr. Wilson's good side now. As it turns out, Liz's father couldn't stand that canary. And you did him a huge favor by letting him escape. Oh, Mr. Wilson, a man after my own heart. So John decided to drop me off at this all-you-can-eat restaurant. He said, I'll be back when you've had enough to eat. He came back three weeks later, which was fine because by then it was out of business and they'd turned the building into a discount shoe store. <laughs> Garfield, you tell the best stories. Let's have another one. No, not now. It's time for my nap. How do you know, Garfield? You're not wearing a watch. I don't need a watch. It's always time for a nap. We'll see you later, Garfield. Wait! I want another story! <sighs> Some other time, Nermal. Garfield, I'm not leaving until you tell me another story. What do you think of that? <laughs> That's what I think of that. Hey, get off my head! <gasps> Who are you? And what were you doing hiding down there? Quick, hide! He's coming! Who's coming? <gasps> it's okay. He didn't see me. Can I trust you? What's your name? Normal Cat. Cutest kitten in the whole wide world. Can you prove it? Can't you tell? Okay, I'll have to take the chance. They call me Agent X. I'm a grade AAA undercover secret agent. Wow! A secret agent? Not so loud. That guy you went by, he's part of a devious international plot to destroy mankind. You've got to help me hide. Here he comes again, quick! There you are. Ooh, wrong cat. Sorry. 
Come on, you've got to hide me before he comes back. Garfield, I have a grade triple A undercover secret agent here. Can I hide him in your tool shed? Uh, be my guest. Thanks, Garfield. They'll never find you in here. This'll do, but what I really need now is some dinner. I have to keep my strength up if I'm gonna save all of mankind. Well, I'll go find you some dinner. I'm making one of Garfield's favorite dinners, Odie. I'll leave it here to cool while I bring in the mail. Oh, John has dinner ready. That's a new world's record even for him. Gone in 15 seconds. You've already eaten, Garfield. I had? I missed it. Guess I ate so fast I didn't notice. Hope it was tasty. It's coming from the shed. And then the enemy spies were about to sink Australia. Who are you? <gasps> and why did you eat my dinner? Which I thought for a minute I'd eaten, but I didn't. Don't bother answering. I don't care who you are or why you did it. Just get out. You can't throw him out, Garfield. He's a secret agent, and he's trying to prevent the destruction of all mankind. I guess we have to save mankind. Mankind makes pizzas. It's getting dark. Okay, he can stay, but just for tonight. <sighs> I'd better get up. I have a full day of eating to get done before dinner time. Guess I'll start my morning with a great big bowl full of Where's my great big bull? I have an awful suspicion where my great big bull is. So they ran me off the road, off the thousand foot cliff. Wow, how did you get away, Agent X? Fortunately, I was wearing my fake fur and under it, I always have on a parachute. You are so clever, Agent X. Why are you listening to him? Because he's so brave. He's been so many places, done so many things. I've been places, I've done things. <laughs> really, Garfield? Where have you been? What have you done? <laughs> well, I've... Uh, I've slept in the living room, I've eaten lasagna, I've slept in the den, I've eaten ravioli, I've slept out back in the hammock. I think Agent X is the most fascinating brave male I've ever met. <gasps> Did I tell you all about the time I was aboard that runaway train? The enemy spies were trained pickpockets. And they were all over Australia. Hey, Squeak. I thought secret agents were supposed to keep things secret and not tell everybody. Do you mind, Garfield? I'm trying to hear the story. Excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt this meeting of the Agent X fan club. I didn't mean to ignore you, Garfield. It's just that Agent X is so interesting. He's getting too much attention. And worse, too much of my food. No, I haven't seen him. But I've got your number here. If I see this gray cat, I'll call you. Thanks very much. That's him. That's Agent X, all right. This calls for a little secret agenting of my own. He went into this house. I'll bet this is the enemy spy's secret headquarters. Be careful. They may have atomic super weapons or something. That person. That must be their leader. Someone dangerous and powerful and... 
Any luck? None, I'm afraid. I passed out the photos to every home for a half a mile around. No one's seen them. I'm sorry, Granny. I'm afraid there's no sign of him. Oh, I'm not giving up hope. He'll come back to me. I know he will. We can get you another pet cat. I don't want another cat. <laughs> oh, I want my fluffykins. Fluffykins? That secret agent is a secret fraud. He's just a runaway house pet. I'm gonna blow his cover and tell his admirers what he really is. What if they don't believe you? That's where I may need your help. I have an idea. Now listen. Here's what we're gonna do. So we can seen from the moon, the Earth is the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Or I thought it was, until I saw your eyes, lovely Arlene. Stop! Time out! Stop the music! Agent X is a fake. His real name is Fluffykin. <gasps> He's a house cat from over on Crescent Avenue. <gasps> Uh-oh. Uh, that's my cover. All us secret agents have cover stories. I pretend to be an ordinary house cat. <laughs> Shame on you, Garfield. <gasps> Being jealous like that. Jealous? Me? No, no. <sighs> I'm glad he's really a secret agent. I mean, uh, I wouldn't want to be the one to face Mr. Tig. <gasps> Who's Mr. Tig? Mr. Tig is the most famous evil spy of them all. I'm not worried about Mr. Tig. My sources tell me Mr. Tig is several continents away from here. Oh, yeah? Then who's that? <laughs> Don't worry, Agent X. You can defeat him. Yeah! Like he defeated those undercover ninjas you told us about. So, at last we meet face to face, <gasps> Agent X. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no! No! Uh, you got it all wrong! <laughs> I'm not Agent X. Uh, my name is Fluffykins! Nice try, Agent X. But I know it is you. You forced me to use uh, superior fighting skills. Hiya! Yeah! Agent X, I'm not! Come back here, you cowardly spy! We have to go help him. You all stay here, I'll help him. Gee, Garfield's braver than I thought. No, no, I'm not a secret agent. My name is Fluffykins. Okay, I'll make you a deal, Fluff. You go back to Granny and I'll take care of Mr. Tig here. And I won't tell your adoring public what a fake you are. It's a deal. Oh! I'm getting out of the secret agent business. It's not safe. Tell me about it. You gonna tell everyone what a phony he was? Oh, uh, why spoil it for everyone? Mr. Tig fled in his top secret jet, and Agent X went after him. He yelled to me, that it might be years before we ever saw him again. Oh, he's so brave. But you're pretty brave too, Garfield. Yeah! Well, I did have to help Agent X recharge his laser rays. Fortunately, I had a fresh uh, set of batteries in the house. Then 12 ninjas tried to stop me. Lasagna. Wow, lasagna. I haven't had any of that since, uh, 
Uh, about four o'clock. Come on, Pookie, supper time. Oh, don't worry. If you don't want yours, I'll eat it. <laughs> One piping hot lasagna. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. You got it. Boy, I thought you couldn't look any cuter. But add marinara sauce, melted cheese to anything, and it looks better. Sorry, Garfield. I got your toy dirty. <gasps> Pookie is not a toy. Pookie is a best friend who just happens to be made of mostly cloth. Here, you got it messy, you clean it. <laughs> He better be as fluffy and adorable as always. He'll be done any minute now. He's done. Here he is. What have you done to him? He looks like a porcupine watching a horror movie. Relax, Garfield. He just needs to be dried overnight. Tomorrow morning, he'll be his old self again. Tomorrow morning? You're a big cat, Garfield. You can sleep without Pookie for one night. Nah. Oh, ho, ho. He's right. I can do without Pookie for one night. Boy, I hope he's okay out there. the clothesline. I'm sure he's all right. What am I worried about? He's fine. <laughs> Come on, Oster. Let's bring Pookie in so he can have breakfast with us. He's gone! Pookie's gone! Pookie, where are you? Pookie, where are you? Don't worry, Pookie. I'll find you. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not in there. Pookie's not down there. I'm sorry Pookie disappeared, Garfield. Well, you ought to be. When I saw he was missing, I ran out and bought you a new little friend. I hope you like him. Not as cute as Pookie. I thought you might not like that one, so I also got this one. Yeah. Looks too much like normal. Huh? One more. It's the latest thing. The Teddytron 2000, a fully robotic, state-of-the-art digital teddy bear. It's not as cute as Pookie. You can make it say whatever you want just by speaking into this microphone. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. Hello, Garfield. I want to be your friend. And there are all sorts of other commands on the controller here. Hmm. Let's see what happens when I press walk. Still not as cute as Pookie. Let's see what happens when I press dance. Nope. Maybe this button that says cuddle. 
did that to me. Oh, boy. Oh, you're back. Like I didn't have enough bad news. What's that, boy? You found Pookie? Well, don't just stand there slobbering. Take me to him. Shh. In here? That, that Pookie Napper, that mutt took my best friend. Aww. Okay, one of my best friends, and I'm gonna get him back. <laughs> you, that's, that's my Pookie, Pookie you've got there. there. I, I demand, demand that, that you return, return him. Huh? <laughs> I demand that you stay out of my yard. Pookie is mine now, mine. If that mutt thinks I'm giving up Pookie without a fight, he's got another thing coming. <sighs> this is called fishing for Pookie. I got a bite. Not a reeler in. This is like Pookie's putting on a little weight. There you are, Pookie. Huh. Hello. Okay, all right. I'm trying something else. Maybe the old phony bush trick. <laughs> How much do you get for gardening work? Okay, I'm through being Mr. Nice Cat. I know how to get Pookie back. I need to find an old dress. Find my baby. Who has him? Oh, there you are, Pookie. Well, what are you doing with that mangy dog? You should be with that nice Garfield where you belong. You're his mother? <laughs> of course I'm his m mother. Don't you see the family resemblance? I can get away with this because, as you may have noticed, dogs aren't too bright. <gasps> Let me take you back to Garfield, little Pookie. I'm sorry. I didn't know he was your kid, lady. I just wanted a friend. I never had one. I'm supposed to be this real tough dog scaring everyone away. Well, that's the trouble. I scare everyone away. Huh? So long, Pookie. It was nice having a friend for a little while, even if I did have to steal you. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you heard it too, huh? Yep, real sad. So I, I, I think we're gonna have to find him a friend. Yeah, it's great having you around. I never had anybody to talk to before. Boy, I used to not have one friend, and now I got three. Well, that worked out well. Can someone be friends with a useless creature that can't even think? Hey, you and I are pals, aren't we? Uh -huh. Come on, Pookie. Let's go home and see if John has lunch ready. And if you don't want yours, I'll eat it. with that pillow. It's my pillow. I paid for it. Yeah, but I'm the one who's got cat hair all over it. <laughs> Garfield, there's a mouse in the kitchen. You were supposed to do something to keep mice out. I am. I'm eating every last piece of cheese we have. Boy, John and Garfield haven't been getting along well lately, have they? <laughs> and you'd like them to be friends, wouldn't you? Well, we gotta do something. I can't live in a house with so much bickering. I'm a sensitive rodent. And I think I got an idea. Wanna help, Odie? Nah, nah. Okay, here's what I need you to do. But I gotta whisper something. We're going to watch the music show. We're gonna watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're gonna watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're gonna watch the monster movie. We're gonna watch the music show. Monster movie. We're gonna watch the movie show. Monster movie. Movie show. Monster movie. Movie show. Monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're gonna watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're gonna watch the monster movie. We're gonna watch the movie show. Monster movie. Are you and your pet not getting along? Are the two of you always quarreling and bickering? If the arguments in your house are getting out of hand, maybe you're just what we've been looking for. Movie show. Movie show. Movie show. Movie show. Huh? We have a new reality TV show called Pet Matchers. Our mission is to match the right pet and master. Each week, we put one pet owner and one pet through a series of tests calculated to measure if they go together. Last week, this woman came to us with her dog. An obvious mismatch. After our tests, she left with her new perfectly matched pet. Gee, that, that sounds, sounds interesting. interesting. Maybe we ought to go on that show. They'll get tested, they'll realize they're made for each other, and no more arguing. That is, if it works. with your host, Chuck Yenta. Welcome back. We're testing this man, John Arbinkle. John Arbuckle. Right, John Arbinkle, to see if he and his cat Garfield are a good match. <sighs> I hope they don't expect me to sing. The computer has analyzed your likes. Here are yours, John Arbinkle. <clears throat> Summer days, friendly people, walks on the beach, a good baseball game. Yep, that's me. And here is what the computer has determined as the likes of your pet. Beef lasagna, sausage lasagna, spinach lasagna, more beef lasagna. Did it mention lasagna? Smart computer. Let's see the other ways in which you two are compatible or incompatible. Favorite way to spend the evening? 
favorite sport. <laughs> favorite hobby. <sighs> How this testing is making me feel like I need a nap. Mr. Yenta, have these tests enabled you to determine my personality? Yes. You don't seem to have one. But we have determined that you and your cat Garfield are... Incompatible! Incompatible? You mean Garfield shouldn't be my cat? That is correct. But don't worry, we've determined the ideal new pet for you and the ideal new master for your cat. Me? There was someone other than John? Garfield Cat, your new owner is... Freddy Applegate, age nine. Where's my new kitty cat? I want my new kitty cat. No, kitty cat. Oh, oh, oh my. But Garfield and I have always... And John Arbuckle, the ideal new pet for you as determined by the computer is... This floor. Are you sure the computer didn't make a mistake? Computers never make mistakes. Now, you go to your homes and we'll have camera crews follow you and report back on next week's show how things are working out. I already hate this. I'm gonna take you home and we're gonna play rock and roll! No. Don't be sad, Odie. Our new friend will fit right into our lives and it will all be good. There you go, boy. I think that's all he does. Look at the bright side. I'll bet Garfield's getting along great in his new home. Did someone say lunch? You did say lunch. Oh boy, I'm gonna like it here. For lunch, I'm having meatloaf with mashed potatoes and cream corn plus for dessert, I get ice cream with hot fudge on it. What about the cat? What about the cat? And you get a nice big bowl of kitty crunchies. Yuck. <gasps> 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 yeah. Hey, if you think this is food, you eat it. <gasps> you're my cat and you're gonna do what I tell you. We're gonna play Rocket to Mars. We are? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like playing Rocket to Mars. Get me to blast off for Mars. Three, two, one, blast off! I was right, I don't like playing Rocket to Mars. Like it one bit. So, Froggy, would you like to go for a walk? Chase birds? Do anything? How about kicking the puppy off the table? My old pet loved kicking the puppy off the table. This is the most boring pet in the world. I'll bet things are more exciting in Garfield's new home. Now he wants to play cops and robbers, and I have to be a robber. Oh, where is that bad kitty cat burglar? <gasps> oh, no. I'm going to have to arrest him and make sure he receives the ultimate Punishment. This is the ultimate punishment. Maybe he's hiding in here somewhere. Ooh, when I catch him, he'll be sorry. I'm already sorry. No, I guess he's not in here. I'll go search around outside. <gasps> Boy, am I sorry. Gotcha! But not as sorry as I'm gonna be. The burglar's putting up a struggle. He's trying to get away. A fine idea. He's making a break for his getaway car! I am? It looks like it's going to be a high-speed uh. police pursuit! I 
never did this to me. Plus, he made me lasagna. Yeah! I, I can't move. I can't move. Where's my kitty cat? I have another game for him. Oh, yeah. I can move. I've got to get Garfield back in my life. I've got to get John back in my life. <laughs> Garfield, you should come back and be my loyal, devoted cat again. John, I should come back and you should be the guy who feeds me again. <sighs> hey. <laughs> That's what our camels recorded. I guess this pet match just didn't work. But things have all been straightened out. Garfield and John are together again. And Freddy has a new pet, too. We're gonna say rocket to Mars. Ah! Hey, you come back here. Get my frog now. And meanwhile, here's your faithful dog, Odie. Glad to see Master and Pat reunited. And to thank you for letting pet matchers try to match your pets, we have a nice gift for you. Something edible, I hope? Our computer has calculated what would be the ideal vacation spot for you. And we're going to send you there all expenses paid. The perfect vacation spot? I can't wait. Oh, the, the, the perfect vacation spot? I thought the computers didn't make mistakes. Computers don't make mistakes. Pets make mistakes. I haven't seen Liz in days. Garfield, you don't look so good today. <sighs> Here we go again. Wouldn't it be easier to just buy your dinner? Can I help you hold your stethoscope? John, there's nothing wrong with Garfield. See, she knows. Nothing except his weight, of course. What do you know? Which reminds me, I better see how he's doing in that department. Oh, huh, two more pounds and I'll need a forklift to do this. Hey, sarcastic remarks are my job. Oh, you're going to inaugurate my new state-of-the-art animal scale, Garfield. <gasps> John, would you turn the dial to portly pussycat? <laughs> portly pussycat, just as you asked. Get off me, you <laughs> overweight tub of pasta and goo. Yikes, that thing talks, and it screamed at me, and it's rude. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is a talking scale. Come back here, you bucket of lard. I wasn't finished with you. Oh, my. Garfield's heavier than I thought. It says he needs to lose two pounds right away, by the end of the week, if possible. And if he doesn't? Then I think we have no choice but to send him to the cat spa. Ooh, the cat spa. That sounds great. Massages, long naps, more massages, more long naps. They'll then put him on a strict, low-fat diet. Long nap, and then... Strict, low-fat diet? This low-fat diet, I can still eat lasagna and pizza and pork fried rice and bacon wrapped in bacon, right? Here's a video of the place I had in mind. Welcome to Maggie's Cat Spa, the world's leading health resort for lazy, overweight cats with attitude. When we brought Hector to Maggie's Cat Spa, he was eating 12 meals a day. Well, he, uh, he got so fat that when he had to walk from the living room to the kitchen, he took a cab. 
But thanks to Maggie's cat spa, this is all behind us now. Well, look at Hector now. Doesn't he look positively healthy and alert? Uh, at Maggie's Cat Spa, your beloved pet will be placed on a strict regimen of exercise and diet. Garfield can't go to that place. Yeah, listen to John. He's right for a change. Either he loses two pounds by the end of the week, or it's the cat spa for him. <laughs> Here, take the scale home with you so you can monitor his progress. I'll do my best to slim him down. Do you think you can do it, Garfield? Garfield! That's Liz's lunch! Mm. Hey, watching all that exercise made me hungry. <laughs> Dinner's ready, Garfield! I want lasagna and ribs and Chinese food and chocolate cream pie and roast beef with a side of roast beef and third helpings of my second helpings and... Huh? Hey, what's this? Enjoy your lettuce leaf, Garfield. <laughs> Gee, I was expecting food. I put him on that strict diet you recommended, Liz. You know, these things aren't half bad if you cover them in whipped cream and chocolate sauce. Uh, I'll call you back, Liz. Let's see where we stand now. Hey, you gained another pound. Nice going, fatso. A few more ounces and you'll qualify for your own zip code. See? Now you have to lose three pounds. I'll worry about it in the morning. I don't know what will have to happen to get him to take this seriously. <sighs> John won't send me to that fat cat place. Even if he did, it wouldn't be so bad. <sighs> Me out. I don't belong here. It's all a big mistake, I tell you. I'm not overweight. I just have a very thick thing of fur. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Nurse Psycho doesn't like it when we scream in terror. Nurse Psycho? You don't want to know what she did to the last fat, obese cat that complained. What, what did she do? Let's put it this way. It was me. Help! Help! John! Or better still, someone competent. Help! Wait. I have to get a grip. This nurse psycho couldn't possibly be that bad. Where's the new fat cat? Oh, yeah. She could possibly be that bad. There you are. Oh, oh, no. Have you been screaming in terror? What? Oh, me? Oh, no. I was practicing my yodeling. Here, listen. <laughs> I yodel a hee We're gonna get you in the shape. First, dinner. Dinner's good. I hope you like pea. peas. Peas. <laughs> sure, I like peas. No, pea. One pea. <laughs> Gee, that's, uh, that's a pretty small pea. Would you all please turn away? I don't want to cry when my fans are watching. Eat it! Could I eat half now and then take the rest home in a doggy bag? Eat it! You'll start exercising as soon as you finish. As soon as I finish it. Okay, well, here goes. Mmm. <sighs> My compliments to the chef. Now, it's time for your workout. Oh, wait. I need time to digest that huge meal. <laughs> up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Now repeat, for the rest of all eternity. No. I must have lost two pounds by now. Sorry, pal. You're still fat. Faster! My 
my grandmother can run faster than that. And up. She makes her grandmother do this, too. I must have lost the weight by now. Didn't you hear me, Jumbo? You're still fat. <sighs> Faster! Get your uh, boy. Faster! Faster! <sighs> we don't like slackers around here. What am I doing here? Why are you doing this to me? And why is everything in black and white? I must have lost the weight by now. Guess what, Chubby? <gasps> That's right. You're fatter than ever. Even your frab is fat. <gasps> You're so fat that when you sit around the house, you sit around the house. Please, knock off the insults. You're so fat yeah. that when you step on a scale, it says one at a time, please. You're so fat that you need a watch on each wrist, one for each time zone. Don't be afraid, Garfield. You're among friends. In fact, all your friends are here. I don't see any friends. Here are your friends, Garfield. Pizza, ice cream, pie, cake, cheese, roast beef, and of course, lasagna. They're all your friends. We're your friends, Garfield! Whoa! Get away from me! Eat us, Garfield! We're delicious! We're your friends, Garfield! No, no, I have to lose weight! We're delicious! Oh, I, wait, wait, oh, oh, I have to lose weight, I have to lose weight. I don't know what to do, Liz. I can't get him to exercise. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. John? John, is something wrong? I'll do sit-ups after I finish my aerobics. Uh, I'll have to call you back, Liz. I seem to be having hallucinations. Garfield, I'm so impressed. I'm sure you've lost at least two pounds. He'd better not insult me. You still need to lose two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand it. You must have lost weight. You must have. Oh, I see what the problem is. I was supposed to set it for portly pussycat, and by accident, I set it for pint-sized parakeet. Huh? <laughs> You're fine. In fact, you may not have had to lose two pounds in the first place. <sighs> but isn't it good you dropped a few pounds, yeah. Garfield? Garfield? Why do you look so mad? Garfield, leave me alone! Don't hurt me! Help! Help! I should go after him, but I have some more important things to do. Let's see what you weigh, Jumbo. What are you, an elephant? You really need to lose weight. You need to Yeah, I know it's cruel. But there's some things in this world you just can't forgive. And making me exercise is most of them. Table check. <laughs> Eating John's lunch for him? Check. Tread new drapes! Check. 
Okay, that's everything on my to-do list for today. Huh? <laughs> Here, please send this off. In case you're wondering, I just sent that DVD I made of you misbehaving to Dr. Whipple. No, not Dr. Whipple. <laughs> I want to watch a really mindless game show featuring people dressed up as large chickens. I don't care what you want to watch, Garfield. We're going to watch Dr. Whipple. As you know, I specialize in teaching obedience to pets, especially cats who don't know how to behave and are lazy, rude, and impossible. I hear there are such cats. Yesterday on this show, I showed you one of the worst behaved cats I've uh, ever uh, come across. Here's a tape of how kittikins used to be. <laughs> Hey, seems like my kind of guy. In fact, Kittikins looks kind of familiar. Since then, I have put Kittikins through my no-fail guaranteed pet obedience training, and here he is. <clears throat> Kittikins, would you like to chase this bird? Mm. No. Oh, what a well behaved <laughs> You see, you can train your disobedient pet with my exclusive line of DVDs, what? tapes, books, computer software, pet Don't food, worry, Garfield. I'm not going to order all that expensive item. equipment. <sighs> Good. For a minute there, I thought... Come on in. It's open. John, you didn't. You wouldn't. You couldn't. You did. Come with me, cat. Oh. Oh. Farewell, Odie. I'll be back. But I may not be me when I return. <sighs> John. How could you do this to me? Oh, Whoa. good morning, cat. <clears throat> now, if you do as you're told, we can get through this in a hurry. After several hours of my training, you will be a tame, docile Whoa. cat like Kittikins here. Why does Kittikins look so familiar to me? Huh? First training method, the sound chamber. This will instill in you a sense of warning if you misbehave. Don't scratch. Don't mistreat puppies. Eat what you've been I'll be back in about an hour. No. All right, it's an hour later. Fine. We're off to a good start. Uh, 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 this is to break you of your atrocious habit of kicking small puppies off of tables. Whenever you kick the robotic puppy off, well, just try it and see what happens. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I'm not taking this lion down. I know just how you feel, pal. And now it's time to eat. Why do I have the feeling this is the first time ever I'm not gonna like doing that? 
right, here is your food. <laughs> Kitty Crunch, dry nuggets, styrofoam flavor, and here is my dinner. Prime rib with mashed potatoes, gravy, cream corn, and apple pie a la mode for dessert. Ooh, yum and double yum. You must eat your food and not eat my food. Because do you know what will happen if you try to eat my food? <laughs> oh, ouch. Ouch. That's right. If you try for my food, a half-ton safe will drop on you. So I noticed. Now. Make the correct choice. Cat, every time you reach for the prime rib, the safe will drop on you. Don't you realize this? <laughs> then why do you keep reaching for the prime rib? Because it's just the way I like it, medium rare. Good job. Now you've had the complete program. And somehow I s s survived. You'll be perfectly behaved when we do my TV show in one hour. <sighs> that was awful. In fact, it was worse than awful. It would have to get better just to be awful. Hi, Garfield. Hi, Kittykins. Hey, how do you know my name, Kittykins? Wait. You're Harry, that cat from my neighborhood. <laughs> That's me. Well, what are you doing pretending to be a tame cat named Kittykins? You're as bad as I am. I got me a job. I pretend to be a successful result of Doc Whipple's training, and every day he pays me my weight in tuna fish. He can afford that? Are you kidding? You know how much this guy makes off these stupid lessons he sells? How much does he make? Enough to pay you your weight in tuna. Well, that's a lot of tuna. Yeah, play along. Help him sell the stuff, and you could have the same great job I have. Hmm. Which would I rather have? My weight and tuna every day? Or my integrity? Ooh, these moral decisions are hard. And now, the world's foremost trainer of problem pets, Dr. Wimble! <laughs> Thank you. Today, you will see the results of my greatest challenge. Worst behaved cat I'd ever seen. Garfield. I put him through my extreme housebreaking program, and now you will see the results. <laughs> Garfield. Garfield, do you have any desire to mistreat small puppies? Do you have any desire to steal food or shred drapes? <laughs> that cat has become so well behaved. We have to order Dr. Whipple's DVDs, tapes, and books. But we don't have a cat. Oh, very good, Garfield. Now, is there anything you'd like to do? Yes, this. <laughs> <laughs> Catch him! Going down. <laughs> that cat is not well behaved. I thought Dr. Whipple had trained him not to do things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go tend to, uh, matters. <laughs> Got it, you. Struggle all you want, cat. You ain't getting away. There he is, the cat who's trying to ruin my business. Who, me? Sweet, well-behaved me? But it won't work. The public is too stupid to catch on. Hey, so what if my training program doesn't work? They still send me tons of money. <laughs> Those idiots. I got a sweet racket going here, and you won't stop me. Dr. Whipple, they're hearing you on national television. They can't hear me. I left my microphone on stage. They can, uh... <laughs> Do you have any further words for our listening audience, Doctor? You miserable little... I'm taking my cat home, thank you very much. Thanks for the lessons, Doc. 
Dr. Whipple, the phone lines are jammed with customers canceling orders and demanding refunds. Why didn't you teach that cat how to behave? I did. Unfortunately, that's how he behaves. Garfield, I wanted to say again how sorry I am I sent you to that terrible doctor. Oh, I'd say uh, eight more apologies ought to do it. <sighs> well, Odie, I'm home and I'm still me. Dr. Whipple didn't whip me into shape the way you wanted. <gasps> oh, that reminds me. It's time for his show. The Dr. Whipple show, normally seen at this time, will never be seen again. Wow, this couldn't have gone better. Instead, stay tuned for a really mindless game show featuring people dressed as large chickens. I was wrong. That's better. I found an old empty TV set in a vacant lot down the street. It's heavy, but this'll be worth it. Oh, there you are. I'm about to leave for my trip, Garfield. Bring me something. Now I'm counting on you to be nice to Odie while I'm gone. You can take care of yourself, but if anything happens to Odie... I know, I know. No lasagna until century after next. Well, you know. See you in a couple of days. It's okay, I won't annoy Odie. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Walter Turkey Baster with the news for Puppy Dog. And here are the headlines. Major scientific breakthrough in flea baths. City to repaint all fire hydrants. And new low prices on cute little rubber squeaky toys. <gasps> you dropped your bone. <laughs> Wait, we have breaking news. Huh? The city has just passed a law banning all puppy dogs. <laughs> The mayor has ordered that all puppies be arrested and locked up in a small cage where they will be fed only raisins. <laughs> Quick, Cody, you have to hide. They're coming for you. <laughs> no, 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 that won't work. They'll find you. <laughs> all right, puppy dog. We know you're in there. This is the police. Come out with your paws up. <laughs> this is too good. <laughs> this is great. Hi, puppy dog. <laughs> What's wrong, little puppy? I won't hurt you. I didn't know puppy dogs could climb trees. Oh, uh -oh. uh, poor little puppy dog. I hope you didn't hurt yourself. My mommy will see if you're all right. She used to be a nurse. <laughs> I, oh, ouch. Garfield, ouch. that was a mean and crummy thing to do. You're right, Squeak. <laughs> but it was so funny. <laughs> oh, come on, Squeak. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll be wandering back in a little while. And then I'll do it to him again. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> 
There's nothing wrong with this little puppy, Nathan, dear. He's fine. Can we feed him, Mommy? Well, I suppose. <laughs> that is, if he's hungry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Get those Peruvian sardines out of the refrigerator, dear. <laughs> oh. What's wrong, little puppy? Puppy, you act like you expect someone to swoop in and just take them away from you. They're all yours. You can eat them all by yourself. <gasps> When is Zodi coming back? I have more tricks planned. He only went across the street and... Hey, that kid's part of the new family that moved in here last week. Go, boy! Fetch the stick! <laughs> He's throwing the stick so Odie can fetch it for him. What's the point of that? When I throw the stick, I make sure it and Odie don't come back for a long time. Okay, he'll be back. <laughs> He'll be back. Mom, the puppy and I get along great. Can I keep him? Huh? Can I? I don't know. He may belong to someone. Puppy, do you belong to someone? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, Nathan, you did do very well on your latest science project. I guess you deserve a reward. Yay! We need to give you a name, puppy. <gasps> this is a book of doggy names. How about Rover? <laughs> Fido? <Bi -bido>? Lassie? <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a boy dog. How about Fluffy? <laughs> Boy, here's a real dumb name. Can you believe that someone would actually name a dog Odie? Oh. <sighs> All John left me to eat while he's gone is this stuff. Look at these ingredients. No pasta, no ricotta cheese, no marinara sauce, and they call this cat food? I'm gonna go use John's computer while he's gone. Any sign of the pup? Odie will be back. He'll be back. Why isn't Odie back? I'll have to bring him back. You like this, don't you? And we're gonna get you some new doggy toys. And for dinner, lasagna. Lasagna? I'm eating canned nothing and he's getting lasagna? Nathan! That's Mom. I'll be right back. Odie, quick. Here's our chance. Sneak out the window with me and I'll get you home. You don't want to come home? This is your home now? See ya, Pop. While you're busy, Mom, may I work on my new science project? That's a good idea. Stupid dog. Imagine picking luxury and lasagna over being tormented by me. Well, I won't miss him. In fact, it'll be nice having the house as a puppy-free zone. I don't care if he ever comes back. Puppy, you're gonna help me with my new science experiment. This is my lab, puppy. This is where I'm going to transform you into a cockroach. <laughs> Garfield, I was just placing a bit on a piece of cheddar. 
and I was looking at some of the videos John's taken of you around the house. So, Odie isn't coming back? No, I can't understand why. Here, I'll show you why. Excuse me? 27 feet, a new record. Don't slurp. Don't slurp. I'm asking you nicely, don't slurp. All right, you're asking for it. Do not open till Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. What difference does it make? He's living the good life across the street. It's no use. You can't get away. You'll be a cockroach in no time. <laughs> Whoa, he sounds upset. Maybe they're out of his favorite mustard. <laughs> Sound like he's having a great time. No, he doesn't. Oh. Wait for me! <laughs> In one minute, you'll be a cockroach! <laughs> Everyone will want to turn their dog into a cockroach! Oh, hurry. Here's what I need you to do. Okay, I want some to smoke to this. Why does someone always interrupt you just when you're about to turn your dog into a cockroach? Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Turning you into a cockroach! I was about to... Where'd he go? Where did my cockroach to be disappear to? Oh. <laughs> oh. Stop! What are you doing? No! Sorry, fella. I need my friend back. I've been kind of rotten to him lately. No! do this to me! This is my What? You heard me say I've been kind of rotten to my friend lately? Uh-huh. Well, I didn't mean that. I just, what I was, well, it's... We have breaking news. Odie the Pup is home, and Garfield won't do anything mean to him for at least two weeks. <sighs> Make it a week and you got a deal, pal. <laughs> 